Hey everyone, my name is Stiltskin, and welcome to my Bedrock Edition Let's Play. I hope you're all having a great day or night. Thank you for watching, and in this episode, I'm going to go on a bit of an adventure because I'm still missing some biomes. I, uh, I haven't been able to find them all yet, and what I really am looking for is a, uh, uh, a desert. A desert and get some cactus. That's what I'm really out for today. Is uh, But if I come across anything else, that would be great too. So let's free the horsey here. Get this all opened up and jump on this guy and go on an adventure. And I'm going to bring you guys back if I happen to find anything great. Um, I do have a link that way and I have a link that way with the nether portals. So I'm thinking of going this way because that way I know is ocean and uh, this one's more land. So I think I'm going to go and stick to this direction. So what I need to do real quick actually is find out where the gate is. All right, so it looks like I'm coming upon a jungle, which is pretty cool. It's not a desert, but, you know, that'll do. Maybe I'll even link this up so that way I have direct access to the jungle and then maybe keep going. And it looks like I also have an ocean monument over there, which is really cool because then I can uh, use that to get uh, a conduit eventually if I go and explore that out. But for now, let's just focus on this jungle. I think I'll go find a location where I can plant down a portal. And uh, let's get this linked up so that way I have a quick access to the jungle and then we'll keep heading in this direction and hopefully come across a desert. Alright, so if I did my calculations correctly, this should take me to the jungle. So hopefully I get this right the first time because last time I did this when I was tired, it didn't end so well. And it looks like, yes, indeed, I am in the right spot. So that's perfect. So now I have a quick access to the jungle. So now I just need to keep continuing going that direction, and hopefully I'll be able to find a desert pretty soon. Well, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name, quite literally. <laughs> so if you have any name suggestions for this horse, because uh, I still have yet to name it, so put them down in the comments below and I'll go through them and see which one I like the most. But anyway, I believe I saw a temple, yep, right here. On my way in, I crossed this great sea over here. It took me quite a long time, and now I'm at negative 4,000 to find this desert. I finally came across one, which is awesome, because now I can get some green dye, which is what I've uh, really wanted to get here, plus uh, methods of um, getting sand, too, because I was digging up a lot of like the beaches and stuff, and I don't like defacing my world too much. So now that I have all the sand, it makes it easier to get glass, and that's what I want to do. I want to get glass, I want to get green, because cyan... Cyan is one of my favorite colors for uh, like the glass and the um, and the uh, wool and stuff. So now that I can make that, but let's go inside here and check out what's going on. Do I have torches on me? I do. I might need to get some of those. Let's put some light. It's my first uh, desert temple, I believe, of my series here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm pretty safe, so I can try going down. Let's put up some light so I can see. There we go. Already at the bottom. Get rid of this. And get that TNT. So let's see what we got in here. What book is this? Blast protection, luck of the sea. Not very great. Uh, emeralds. I'll take this stuff. And uh, nothing real amazing so far. But, you know, just normal stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to collect all this stuff. And then I'm going to get a bunch of sand. Get some more cacti. And uh, meet you guys back at base. All right, guys, now that I'm back at my base with my cyan glass, what I want to do with it is uh, make a fish tank. I had an idea of putting in a little fish tank here and where, you know, it's update aquatic. You got to have a fish tank somewhere, right? So what I want to do is uh, put it right here. It's just going to be a very small one. I'm going to have to go out and get some fish eventually. Now let's put some sand down and then uh, a layer of the cyan glass and then start filling in some water. And then uh, I'm probably going to put in a kelp and some seagrass. I, I don't know if I can double tall. I'll have to see. I might have to use bone meal, but I might, I might want to make one of them double tall. But anyway, let's uh, get down here. I got my little refill station here and uh, keep going up. And then I'm going to have to go out and find some, uh, some fish to put in here. We definitely want to find some tropical fish, but I, I do have access to... Um, yeah, I don't think you can double tall it. I might have to bone meal it. That's fine. Um... I'm not liking how the water is like... Why isn't it... That's weird. It should have filled it up. Or is it because I'm not putting one in the center? I thought it would fill it up automatically, but maybe not. 
Anyway, I just want to get rid of that, like... There we go. So yeah, maybe I do have to put three in. But yeah, I'm going to keep working on this. And then uh, I have another plan after this for my other base. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to do that, too. And uh, we'll get going on finishing up this episode and doing some stuff. Okay, guys, I'm at my ocean base right now, and I have a little project to put together, and I want to make, even though I love my little staircase, I want to make a quicker way up. So what I'm going to do is put in a water lift. So what I'm going to do is, uh, at the bottom here, I'm going to replace this with sand real quick. I'm going to put this door in, because um, this, is, this is just the door that I have, so I'll just use this for now, just to keep the water from flowing out. And I love the little staircase, but as you can see, it takes a really, really long time to get all the way up to the top. So in an effort to make that a little bit quicker, I'm going to put in this water lift because I have a quick way down. I have a little diving board kind of thing at the tower. And uh, so I can get down quick, but I can't get up quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put in some water. I, I kind of wanted to fill in all of these these staircases here just to make it kind of look cool I guess like that uh, yeah it's flowing into it I guess I like it kind of a cool effect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride this down hopefully hopefully pretty quick so I don't drown because <laughs> that would be pretty embarrassing like hey check out my lift that blow drown oh yep I made it down pretty quick okay so yep it's it's contained perfect so there's a trick, if they haven't fixed it, that I found, um, it's probably well known at, known at this point, but if, in case you're not, uh, if you put kelp down, or at least before, uh, it looks like it's still flowing. It used to be if you put kelp down, it would turn all of them into source blocks, because I need all of them to source blocks, because when I replace this with uh, the soul sand, it'll do bubbles. Yep, just like that. Perfect. So yeah, it did it, because I think it has to be a source block for it to be bubbles, and I think since, you know, as you just saw, I put it all in the top, so it wasn't it wasn't all source blocks, but it worked. So let's test this thing out and see how it works. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Look how quick I got up. That's awesome. I love that. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to leave that the way it is, and I think, because um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. That was actually pretty quick. Yeah, but look, I made a, I made glass. I just went ahead and did this off camera. I just filled in, made it look a little bit nicer on this side. So when you, if you do take the stairs, you can still see the, uh, the bubbles and stuff on the side, the little lift. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to get rid of this water. Um, and then we're going to go and try to find some fish for my fish tank at my other base. So I just made the long trek to my, uh, through my nether portal to the mega taiga biome, I believe that's called to uh, this area here where I have the coral reef and an icebergs and stuff where I got access. It's over, as you can see at the top there, 5,000 blocks. It was a long trek that I had to make to get uh, all this way, but I'm here now in an effort to find some fishies. So let's see what we have here. I kind of like that, where did it go? I was gonna say, I kind of like that one purple one that was just there, I think it was purple. Uh, I just have three buckets, that one's kind of cool. I like this one, let me take this one. Purple and yellow. Oh, come here, come here. I'm gonna get you. There we go, I got a fish. Okay, my first fish. So I'll just get two more real quick, and then I'll bring them back to my uh, fish tank that I just built at my base, and we'll put them in there. So what's this guy look like? Um, that one's kinda cool. Let me come up for air though, so I don't drown. I might end up losing that fish. And I got some, uh, some people that aren't too happy about me getting some fish. Leave me alone, drowned. I just want some fish. I just need two more, and then I'll be done. And then I'll leave you alone. Leave you in peace. What's this one? I'm trying to look around. There's a lot of choices. A lot of choices. I should have brought my uh, turtle helmet. So I can see. What's this one look like? Um, salmon. I don't want to put a salmon in there because I feel like the tank isn't big enough for a salmon. And I don't want to crowd it. Let's just take this one. Whoop, there goes the achievement, finally, for collecting the fish. Oh, that fish is escaping. No, nope. I'm kind of... There we go. Oops, and I accidentally released it. I'm dying. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to finish collecting these, because I, I was tap, I was trigger happy, and I accidentally released it. So I'm going to get the next two, and then I'll meet you guys back at base, so I can uh, fill up my fish tank. Okay, so I'm back at base, and I have my three fishies here that I'm about ready to put in the fish tank. So let's see, hopefully I can get them in there without killing them. There's one, 
two, three. And there are all three of the fish in the tank, so that's perfect. So that's what I wanted. And now I got some fishies. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted. Actually, you know, I think that might look better. Maybe I should do that instead. Have them go that way so it kind of has that little gap in the top. I think that looks pretty cool. Anyway, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And uh, thank you for any support, any or all support that you give me. I uh, really appreciate it. It makes me feel really good that I'm actually doing something right. Uh, so, yeah, but thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, and I hope to see you later. Bye.